the existing tactics will go through the library of everything that like all the libraries that you loaded so far and it will list the theorems that you could use that are applicable it knows that they're applicable because the goal is unifiable with your current specific goal but then you know it'll say things like every time it will tell you you could use reflect you could try to use symmetry and instead of proving a equals b you could try proving b equals a and you could try using transitivity so maybe you can come up with an intermediate c such that if a equals c and c equals b then a equals b so it's going to give you all these crazy theorems and maybe if it's natural numbers it's going to say oh you know you're trying to prove a equals b why don't you try to instead prove that the successor of a equals successor of b so it's going to give you a lot of really dumb advice Okay. And not only that, it's going to give you a long list, like 50 items of advice, okay, and ordered randomly in the order where it that it found, or maybe sometimes ordered by how many premises it has, so that the ones that have fewer premises are at the top because they're likely going to be more useful. Okay, so suppose you want to improve that. That's like Google search. You ask Google, give me all pages that say Haskell, functional programming. And then the reason that Google is so good is because the first, you will only look at the first four hits, right? But they always seem to be the useful ones. So the usefulness of Google is not that it knows these pages, it's that it knows how to order them and show you the top, okay? We want to have that for a proof assistant. 